Hello, I am Joe Alexy, and welcome back to Morrowind. So we're here in the arena storage, which is our home, and I did some research. Apparently, we only need two items, and one of them is the mask of him. Uh, I gotta check the book. I gotta check the book. Is it gold brand? Gold brand. See, they're wanting our cool rings, but they can't have that. Uh, um, the boots of the apostle. We got that. We can give to her. Yep, gold brand. Okay, so we're gonna give her those two items. Okay, that stays. I guess I could stay. You can go back in the trash pile. All right. That looks good to me. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Now, pretty much, she wants us to donate two items. That's way too loud of my headset. There we go. She wants us to donate two items to the museum, and then she'll give us that shield that has that piece. So, I didn't want to give up our ring of the kid sheet, or our vampire ring, because we actually use those quite a bit. But these other two items, we can't use gold brand because it's a long blade, and we can't use the uh, mask of Clavicus Fell because it just looks stupid. In my opinion, <laughs> we're not going to wear that. Actually, I don't even think we can wear it. No, we can't. Beast races could not wear full helmets. All right, where is God's Reach? Yeah, I'm kind of curious. I think we can go back after we deal with this to turn off the ash storms. I think that's what we're gonna do because this place is really beautiful without the ash storms. Welcome to the Mournhold Museum of Artifacts. All right, I am here to donate. Gold brand. Very well. You are a true friend of the museum to offer such an artifact while expecting nothing in return. Aw, 30 grand. That screwed us. Alright, and what was the other one? It was the... It wasn't called a helmet. Um... Yeah, yeah. What are you called? Called Mask of Calipers Phil. Okay. Okay, she doesn't want the The museum is privately funded and is offering to collect and display many items of artifacts from this part of the world. Should you want to sell something you feel the museum will be interested in? Bring the item here and we will we can access it at its value. Be warned, however, that theft is a serious matter and likely to equal a death warrant for any foolish enough to attempt it. Sell something. Okay. Where is that mask? Alright, it doesn't look like she's gonna take it. Interesting. Interesting. It should be there. Crap. All right. We got to get out of here. Okay. She won't take this. So I don't know why. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and teleport back home. Where's my recall? And we'll just give her Mayrune's Razor. Or the Boots of the Apostle. Um. Alright. We're going to take both of those. Just because we can't continue until we complete her quest. 
We're kind of locked out until we get her to give us that piece. We need it. All right. This should be God's reach. If I'm correct. It is. All right. Oh my goodness. This weather is just going crazy. Okay, I'm going to try to hang on to the boots of the Apostle. Actually, we don't need them. We can't wear them. <coughs> Excuse me. Donate the item. Alright. We have donated them. One piece. I don't even have it on display. Be compensation. You've already been quite a friend of the museum. I'll give you the piece. I'm classifying it as Dwemer Battle Shield. As I said, I'm not sure what to make of it. The spike attached to the front of the shield seems to be loose, but the component smith can probably take care of it. Take care of that for you. Go look. Good luck to you, and if you're able to relocate the blade of the Neverar, I'd love to see a finished product. All right. All right. We got the piece. And... Yeah, so that piece does not look like it goes there. All right. Okay, that did stuff. Even be trusted. All right, we gotta go fight. What's his name? I completely forgot. It's been longer than a day, so they're probably gonna call us shit. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Now, the th this is going to be kind of tricky because we have drain life spells on our sword. Cool, guys. <laughs> Alright. I don't want to kill this guy. We'll use that. And we'll back it up with the vampire ring. Your loyal service shall be rewarded. I'm here. Have you come to fight my champion? Are you prepared to face Korad? Okay. Ah, you have come to meet Korad in battle. Good for you. I have mentioned that Korad has never been defeated. Perhaps I didn't. This is to be a fair fight. Use whatever weapons or spells you have at your disposal. I wish you both luck. At least one of you will need it. None, of the, none are to interfere, and you will bring on my command. All right, okay, everybody's scattering. Let's go. How that? Ooh. Oh my God. Aim for the face. Hold, I am beaten. You are a greater warrior, Jalak, so you should now speak with my liege. Alright. That was a good fight. Enough! I have seen you fight my champion, though. I find it hard to imagine how you, how you have succeeded. I did not believe anyone could best Korad, but you have shown me otherwise. And he speaks. There are depths to you, Jalak, see, that I will fathom in time. For now, you've proven yourself to me. Your loyal Alright. Oh, come on. That's the piece we already had. Your loyal service shall be rewarded. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you about... Uh, where is it? Um... Okay, I don't see anything. Okay, fight my champion. Ah, there we go. I'm impressed, Alexi. None have ever defeated Korad in battle, and I am certain, certainly didn't expect you to be the first. You continue to surprise me. You have proven your worth to me as a, 
well as your loyalty. Take this as a token of my faith and our friendship. It was my father's ceremonial dagger, and I place it now in your possession. Do not disgrace his memory, Jaloxy. Now let us discuss plans for you. I am certain you know Mornhold is one of the scats of power for the tribunal. The goddess Amalexia resides in her temple surrounded by her higher ordinators. I have no great love for Amalexia, her ordinators, or the tribunal of which she is a part of. In light of recent events, I believe it is time to gather more information about them. Recent events. The attack on Mornhold was unexpected to me as it was destructive to the city, and I make it my business to remain forewarned of these sorts of events. Many believe the attacking creatures to be to have been Dwemer constructs, but we know now that this cannot be the case. These creatures were beyond anything dreamt by the dwarves. Creatures it would take the power of a god to create. I would like you to learn more about the attacks. I believe that the only person who might shed more light on the situation is Amalexia herself. All indications are that the creatures must be the constructs of Sothasil, and only Amalexia is likely to, to have information about him. I wish for you to speak with to her, learn what you, she knows about the creatures, and report to me. There is no reason for the goddess to suspect that you and I may be allied, unless this is your advantage. Do not approach me again until you have learned all you can. Yes, sir. All right, you there. What may Kara do for you, the, the mighty one? I'm looking for... Pieces of the blade. When I was a child, my father gave me this weapon. He told me that as long as I had it, no one could defeat me in battle until the rightful owner came to claim it from me. I now know that you are the one who he spoke of. Or he, who he spoke. Whom <laughs> he spoke. I give it to you freely. May it serve you as well as it served me. All right, we we got all three pieces. Now we can reforge the blade. But before we do that, we need to get back to our house and drop some more crap. I don't want to accidentally. No, can't be. All right. Now we can go back home. Okay. So, Mayrun's razor goes in there. That can go in there. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, that's better. Okay. That seems to be it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just drop this here because we don't use it. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I'll keep that. Okay. Now, we're going to head back and we're going to try to get this sword built. The bad news is, I'm pretty sure it's a long blade, so we won't be able to use it effectively. Alright. Now, as far as Sothasil, we don't really get to talk to him or anything. But, you know, he seems interesting. I wish there was more about him for us to do all right you there i want to talk to you about Dwimmer battle shield hum an odd construct to be sure let me see as i thought these two pieces aren't supposed to be attached looks like a regular Dwimmer shield with this other piece attached hope you didn't pay too much for this that shield friend it's nothing special as far as i could see the other piece is interesting, though. Dwemer in origin, but unlike anything I've ever seen before. Need custom armor. All right, so he broke it for us, and now we need to forge the blade. 
You've got some interesting pieces there. I can work with this. Make the best blade you've ever seen. Not that I figured you'd know a daikatana from a butter knife. Come back in two days time and I'll have your blade. Now leave me alone. Can you even be trusted? What? That's hurtful. I did nothing to you. Okay. So we got two days to waste. I guess for starters, we're going to go back down in that hole and get Ignitius Flaccus's cogs. We needed, I think, three. Three Doomer cogs. Yep. Okay. Three Dwimmer Cogs is what we're going after. Now, the good news is we know exactly where some are because there's laying all over the place down there. It would have been so much easier if he, uh... Crap. <laughs> it would be so much easier if he would have told us, like, the whole list of stuff that he needed. But that's fine. Yeah, I'm not messing with these guys. Ow! Dodge! Alright. Alright. Alright, we need... What kind of cogwheels does he need? Alright. We need... Okay, it just says three. So it doesn't give us a size. Alright. We got three cogwheels. Now we can get out of here. Perfect. Alright. So this should be God's Reach. Nope, the Great Bazaar. We got turned around. Mistakes were made. That's fine. Oh my goodness. I am like all congested in the chest and shit this morning. Yeah, I was tweaking the settings on my CPAP and I fucking woke up like all dried out. So I need to retweak them. Where is he where I... Huh. Okay, we can't run fast. For some reason. We're out of stamina. That's fine. That's fine. Alright. Welcome to the robot arena. Cool. Ah, oh, welcome back, Kajit. Are you ready to help repair my bots? I am. Do you have the cogs I requested, Jogs? Yes, here they are. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now let me start my repairs. Come back in a little while and I'll have these war bots ready to go. Okay. Alright, so we got him out of the way. There's still that dude needing to find love. And our stuff's damaged. Alright. We did that. We need... Oh, we forgot to go back and tell the wife that we killed Erna at uh, Solstheim. Oh, we got to return Erna's ring to her. Crap. Oh, that sucks. We completely forgot that. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and prep us to do that because we do got like a couple days to waste before we can uh, continue. So we're gonna go ahead and recall home. All right, Erna's ring, it should be in the ring pile. If it's not in the ring pile, then it would most certainly be in the pile of dropped crap. And it doesn't look... Oh, no! It doesn't look like we have it here. Wait a minute. 
Nope, we don't have it here. Shoot. Oh, that's the bad part about this. So, Oblivion won't let you drop enchant uh, quest items, and neither will Skyrim. But, on this we can. Alright. Ice Bolts, Shadow Maker, Shock Balls. Shoot. Ah, Aaron of the Quiet's Ring. We got it. Okay, we got the ring to return. All we got to do is just get back over there and return the ring. And I think we will do that in our next episode. But I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay awesome.